back on speed. Lights are out on the safety car after the backstretch incident. Getting ready for a restart here with 30 laps remaining. About 20 minutes of racing, so we'll probably only see about 15 actual laps. Boris said the restart leader, Greg Pickett, Tommy Dreese, Klaus Graf, Randy Ruhlman, back underway in San Jose. And Boris said has not hit anything yet. And there's a big unusual <laughs> statement in Trans Am because he is Mr. Excitement, but he is so disciplined today. On board here with Tommy Dreese. What great pictures as you look at the Cytomax car of Greg Pickett. Wow, right up behind him. That's down into turn three, the hairpin, but Pickett able to pull away from Dreesey as they head toward four. One of the toughest places on the racetrack. A lot of cars have come to grief here in Ford, Derek. Here's behind again, Graf on Tommy Dreesey now. Graf, of course, thinking championship. I need more points. And this is the point in Trans Am races, historically all season long, where all the action suddenly begins to explode. Only three rounds of the championship left after this outing oh. in San Jose. Here comes Graf inside Dreesey into turn 10. And he didn't pull it off the last time, but he was a clean this time. Remember Durhag said, or Jet Losey said he should have kept his foot right in it with Ruhlman. He did keep his foot in it right there and down the inside. Now, he chases Greg Ripica. He has been fast all weekend, has been Klaus Graf in that Rocket Sports Jaguar car number seven. There's the gap back to the points leader, Randy Ruhlman, with a couple of victories in his bag this season. And Ruhlman won the opener at Long Beach. And Pickett could be in trouble. So look at the high-speed sections. The bonnet of the Jaguar is beginning to lift up when there's a lot of air in the high-speed sections. It gets underneath the bonnet. That could be, there it is right there. You see it, the gap opens up. That could be a problem because that could just literally explode and break off that car. That won't stop him mechanically, but that will definitely slow him down a little bit. Onto the back stretch. Greg Pickett running in second spot. That was due to contact with Jim Rogers moments ago on the back stretch. One of the GTA cars has lost a piece of bodywork there, so there is a local yellow being displayed over heading toward turn number six. Hey, Wednesday nights, eight oh, three on speed. Tommy Dreesey spins. We'll get back to that in just a moment. Dreesey at the end of the back stretch where he was passed a few moments ago. Well, we just mentioned this is the time of Trans Am racing where it all begins to unfold. The frustration, the mistakes, everything begins to happen. And we got into the it wall. Look at that. Scuffed that uh, left front fender a good bit on the five car. And now Hima Maher has gotten by Dreesey, so put Maher up into fifth. Maher in the orange 78, one of the Jim Durhag Chevrolets. He's out of Alberta, Canada. On the front straightaway. GTA car, the 97 in the mix right there. Another look at what happened to Dreesey. Oh, he lost it. He just simply lost it. Looked all by himself. Flames. Into the back stretch. See what happened here. He locked up the rear brakes as he was down changing. You hear that chatter? That was the rear tires fighting for grip. It looked like the uh, rear wheel looked a bit loose. Well, it? it looked as though he might have white-walled a couple of tires on the wall there. We saw that big scuff on the left front corner. I think he may have gotten into the wall at some point. Right now, Randy Ruhlman moves to fourth. Now, Wednesday nights at 8.30 on speed. It's pinks. Two drivers put their rides and their pride on the line. No points, no money. No, they're racing for pink slips. Lose the race, lose your ride. It's pinks Wednesday at 8.30 Eastern and Pacific, exclusively here on speed. So we're on board with Dreesey, but he has been shuffled back to fifth now. Randy Ruben, the points leader, up to fourth. Boris said has a one-second lead over Greg Pickett in San Jose. We'll be back. Back in San Jose, preparing for a restart of the Cytomax Sport Drink 100 for the Trans Am Tour. Hey, Wednesday nights on speed. If you think you can't improve on perfection, you haven't seen unique whips. Will Castro takes the cars from the stars, turns them into one-of-a-kind works of art. The car's just a car until it's unique, and it's unique whips Wednesdays at 9 Eastern and Pacific, only on speed. Jan Vikas, one of the key contenders, may be back on pit road. He is. He is. In fact, he just got his fourth tire. They put four fresh tires on Klaus Graf's car because he had run over some debris and they just did not know if possibly he would have a puncture, a tire going down. And of course, we've talked so many times today, Derek, about championship points. They don't want to take the risk. And this might be a very bright move here by the Rocket Sports team because there's not that many minutes left in this race. And if he can make a real charge, 
with these fresh tires, he could be looking really good to challenge Pickett and Sedna. Can he get back in line? I believe he can uh, fall in at the end yellow? of the Trans Am line, which would put him uh, fifth, I believe, for the restart here. And right now, they're showing him fourth on the scoring charts. He shouldn't have to restart behind the GTA cars in the running order. So he should be able to be up behind Hema Mars' machine, which would put him fifth on the restart. This is the third set of tires for today's event, Klaus Graffi used. Now, normally in Trans Am racing, it's 100 miles, you don't stop, you finish on the tires you started on. They changed tires before the start of the seven. He had that incident earlier with the GTA car, a second set, now a third set of tires to try to give Klaus an opportunity. Second of the championship, 16 markers behind Randy Rule. Well, if he can join, get past this traffic jam and get up behind uh, Sed, Pickett, and Ruhlman, this will be an awesome move by Klaus Graf and that Rocket Sports team. And there he is there. He is beginning to pass all of the GTA and GT1 cars. Jan? And Paul Genuosi's thinking, Derek, is that there were only four cars on the lead lap. So if he came in and got fresh tires, he was going to go back right to essentially fourth spot. So they figure that's not much of a gamble. Let's go ahead and put the fresh tires on. A, we make sure we don't have a puncture. And B, maybe we can make a run at him. Klaus uh -huh. Graf out of Germany driving the Jaguar Rocket Sports number seven, the Deutsche Post car as well. And here he is funneling down toward the chicane, moving in front of Hema Mar. So he will be in the right spot in Trans Am running. Uh huh. Hang on. Hema Mar is a Trans Am car. Exactly. Is he a lap down? Hema yes, Mar is he one lap down. He is. Yes. Okay. So he can continue his drive up through this traffic. That th this this could that could be the strategic move of this race what Gentle Losey just did, what this team just did. Putting fresh tires on the Jag should allow Graf to have quite an advantage handling-wise uh -oh. over Ruhlman. We know he's faster than Ruhlman anyway, who will restart third. Setting the situation up, three rounds of the championship to go after today, Denver, Road America, and then Montreal to close out the season in the championship at the end of August. Now, Boris said will have the restart lead in the ACS Mustang there, the 33. Greg Pickett, the Edmonton winner, the Cytomax Jaguar, he'll line up second. Points leader Randy Ruhlman, the preformed line product Chevrolet third. And Graf, who's passed Ruhlman twice already on the racetrack, yeah. he starts fourth. And Boris said has not hit anybody yet. <laughs> but he might be keeping it for Graf because Graf will be on a charge here. You just watch Graf on this restart as he attacks Ruhlman and Greg Pickett and makes his way towards Boris said. Here we go. Hang on to Ollie. Uh, six minutes of racing to go. Should be time for five laps. We're back underway and Boris takes him over start finish. Here comes Graf now working on Ruhlman. Remember they touched going into the hairpin a few laps ago. And this is exactly the same corner. Graf trying to come down the inside. Oh, Ruhlman. Oh, he gets up underneath him and turns Ruhlman again. Oh, he butted Ruhlman going in. But do you know what happened there? Randy Ruhlman did not move over to take his rightful line. He stayed down on the inside, which I believe caught Klaus Graf by surprise. And Graf suddenly jerked to the outside, and they made contact. Look at Ruhlman. Ruhlman stays down the inside. Look at it. Graf was taken by surprise a little bit, just tags him, just touches him right there enough to spin Randy Ruhlman. But why wow. is it okay for Ruhlman to protect the inside line going into that hairpin? It is. It is okay for him. Yes, it is. But I don't think Graf expected that, and he was on a charge and tagged him, thinking Ruhlman was going to go to the outside, and, and, and Graf was going to come down to the inside. We're hearing that a black flag will be displayed for Klaus Graf next time by Greg Pickett running second there. Meantime, he's got a big issue with the hood on the Cytomax car. So Graf third for now, but he will see the black flag, we understand, next time by for the, un the avoidable contact, the issue with Ruhlman down into turn three. Chris McClure. Jim Durhag was a man on fire a moment ago. Uh, Apparently, they're going to black flag Graf for avoidable contact. Had you heard that? Because I, I yeah, know you were angry. I heard it, Chris, and I saw it. I mean, Randy, he pushed Randy straight from behind. I mean, that's, you know, I thought Klaus was a real class guy, but that was a pretty chicken act. Jim Durhag, he's going to get a black flag at the other end of the pits. So there goes Graf under the Hankook Bridge. Here's Randy Ruhlman back on the racetrack, still fourth overall, but he has lost a lot of track position. The incident as the laps wind down in San Jose. Boris said continues to run clean in the lead ahead of Greg Pickett. We'll be back. <laughs>